Hey everybody, Steve Watkins here at Tranquility Base. It's Thursday evening. The cool weather is moving back in. It's going to create every, a topsy-turvy situation for everything. Garden looks beautiful. We've had it planted for three weeks. And I told you guys three weeks ago it was too early to be planting then. So yes, I know better, but it's still, it's still a pain when the cold weather moves in. you got to blame somebody, right? I'm sure we'll be out there. The cold weather is especially going to hit Tuesday night. I'm sure we'll be out there with plastic covering everything up, and boy, that is a hard job. But I'm hoping that's our last cold stretch uh, Tuesday night. Uh, we're in the chicken business here, as I told you guys. We got eight chickens. I have read that chickens can recognize up to 80 faces. Uh, I know this much. They recognize this face when it comes feeding time twice a day. And you know, Bad news is you keep these, we gotta keep them in the house cause it's too cold out here for them. Keep a heat, I keep a heat lamp on them. My friend, Dr. Kevin Reed, veterinarian Jonesboro says I can't take them, leave them outside until it's consistently above 60 degrees. Uh, and that feathers make a big difference in, in the chickens keeping their warmth. We're getting feathers as you can see on some of the wings here. And uh, speaking of that, they actually are starting to wanna fly out of this box. But I try to clean the box every day. We keep newspapers in the very bottom. We got the Jonesboro Sun there, which is an excellent place to have the Jonesboro Sun at the bottom of the, of the chicken coop. That's a perfect place for the Jonesboro Sun. And I, I take, I've got a big couple of bales of sawdust I scatter in here like that. That keeps everything nice and dry. Do this every day. Um, give that a shake. And I've got an, uh, an old refrigerator shelf here, I think, or freezer. I'm not sure where that, but it, it keeps them in because they surely do want to come out. And I'm going to attempt to move the birds now real quick. They don't really love this. And that is a big little chick right there. Woo! He wanted in. All right, here we go. Let's do this, y'all. Come on, I'm just trying to get you a clean place. Little bard, uh, what's he called? I forget. And somehow, the three little Rhode Island Reds are always the last ones to get picked up. How about that? See y'all next time. Thanks for tuning in. Bye-bye.